Hi stallions, it's Miss Slater. Let's talk about adaptations of plants and animals. An adaptation is a structure or behavior that helps an organism survive in its environment. It can be a body part or behavior that helps a plant or animal stay alive. We call this body part a structure and what it does to help the organism the function. Look at these picture of the cacti. Some structural adaptations of cacti are a thick, waxy skin. The function is to reduce the loss of water and to reflect heat. The large fleshy stems of cacti function to store water. The thorns and thin, spiky or glossy leaves are other structures of cacti that helps the plant reduce water loss. The structure of the spikes protect cacti from animals trying to use the cacti's stored water. Look at these pictures. Animals have adaptations too. Birds have different types of beaks to eat and wings to fly. Blowfish can inflate with air to scare away predators. Turtles have shells for protection. Polar bears have thick white fur to keep warm and blend in with the snow. Some of their behavioral adaptations are to dig dens to protect themselves from cold winds and the ability to be strong swimmers, which functions to help with hunting and swimming through ice. Let's look at some more adaptations. What adaptations do you see here? A leaf-tailed gecko and an owl blend into their environment to hide from predators and prey. This physical adaptation is called camouflage. Let's take a look at the giraffe and the elephant. Giraffes are well adapted to a life in savanna. Their very long necks are a structure that functions to reach the treetops for food. Their tongues are also very long to reach leaves. And did you know their tongues are purple to prevent sunburn? Elephants have many adaptations that allow them to thrive in their warm habitats. Their big ears and wrinkly skin function to help them stay cool. They also have tusks as a structure made of ivory that functions to help them eat and protect themselves. Okay, stallions, we've talked about structures functions, adaptations, so I want you to play a game. It's called I Spy Structures and Functions. This is how you play. Next time you go outside, look for organisms and see if you can identify structures of the organism and the functions that help the organism survive. Let me know what you find. My email address is listed here so you can email me a picture or if you don't want to include a picture, you can just tell me what you found. Tell me what the structures and functions are. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye.